Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time we circle back again to Spaceballs, the Star Wars parody, among other things, uh, that has shown up on this show quite a few times before. We've looked at a lot of different copies of Spaceballs, some from outside the country, like most recently with the Turkish dubbed copy, but mostly from within the U.S. And we've seen VHS and Laserdisc and tons of DVDs and tons of Blu-rays and so on. We've seen uh, the recent 4K release and so on. Um, we've seen a lot of Spaceballs. But there is a format that we haven't really seen many of in all the time I've been doing the show. Because it didn't exist in the United States, and it is now pretty rare for collectors to find this particular format on, say, the European market. But we've looked at a few Star Wars releases on this format from the UK. Turns out that Spaceballs also got a release on that format in Germany in 1988. And I find myself flabbergasted that this happened because it's just weird to think of this rare format that I now think of as sort of special being used for just a common release because I'm assuming that Spaceballs was not as big a deal as, say, something like Star Wars. But who knows the German market? My understanding is they love David Hasselhoff, so tastes will obviously vary. You see, in 1988, the year after its theatrical release in 1987, Germany saw a release of Spaceballs on... Video 2000, or V2000 as we call it. That is this, in kind of the crinkly plastic case. The insert's fine, the plastic's a little crinkly. Now the taglines repeatedly get translated by the little Google Translate app as a Mel Brooks Crazy Space Travel! So whatever. Um, but it looks a lot like some of the releases we've seen, but this is of course German, so we have German text down here, German text up here, we have space balls, here. Uh, Mel Brooks does get his name mentioned down here. A lot of times it was up above the logo as we saw in the U.S. market. We have a product number, MGM United Artist Home Video or MGM UA. Uh, then we have Mel Brooks, blah blah blah, crazy space travel. Space balls, color, runtime, video 2000, which appears to be a sticker over VHS, which would make sense because by this point video 2000 was sort of dying, so you would figure that uh, you might see something that was produced for VHS that just has the Video 2000 sticker stuck on it, as we saw in some other regions, with other formats. Uh, space balls, again, Mel Burke's Crazy Space Travel, information about it, cast information. We have uh, the rating there, Hi-Fi Stereo, Dolby Stereo, and then uh, you know, legalese kind of stuff down here with that 1988 release copyright, images from the film, with, of course, the Winnebago there. What's interesting to me is that not only... Is this a Video 2000 release, which is bizarre to think of for this, and a very rare format to come across, at least in terms of my Star Wars collecting. But it turns out that the cassette inside the original MGM home video labeled thickly embossed case is actually still in its original shrink wrap. Apparently the cassettes themselves were shrink wrapped. Um, so I'm not going to open that shrink wrap. There's no point. I don't have a Video 2000 player. Most stuff I open. I have a Laserdisc player. I was a heathen. I opened up all those Laserdiscs that we looked at uh, for the behind-the-scenes stuff from Japan in 95 back in episode 450. I am blasphemous that way. No point in doing it this time, though. I just don't have a practical way to play it, even if I did have a PAL version of it. So we have lots and lots of legalese-type stuff up here, I'm assuming. The rating, and then uh, at what looks like sort of a printed... Like not, not like fancy printed, but like printed almost like it looks like it's on a typewriter or back then a word processor or, you know, typewriter. Um, you know, product number, MGM UA, space balls there. No label here, though it does have some printing, but it's all like coded stuff. It's not like the title or anything. And then the reverse side, nothing, nothing on the back. There's your sides there. Uh, again, this is basically uh, a format known by three names. It's known as Video 2000 or V2000 or VCC. But this is a format that did not exist in the U.S. for the retail market, uh, released in Europe. In the U.K., we've seen the Star Wars releases with it. But oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they actually put out a release on that bizarre format, in our eyes in retrospect, for Spaceballs. So you knew that as soon as Matthew Hardesty pointed me to this on eBay, it was going to end up on my radar. And I would say, I might get it. I'll consider it. And pretty soon, I would simply break and buy it. And here it is, now part of my Star Wars home video library. Um, if you didn't want to see another episode on Spaceballs, maybe blame him, not me. But 
yeah, it was my choice. Because how could I pass up Spaceballs and V2000 as one product? That's awesome. Even if I'll never be able to play it. <laughs> with that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. And may the Schwartz be with the home video viewers, including in Germany.